Chat, here we go. It's Droyas and Kiernan in the continuation of the Salt Mine 3 Stage 2 European Qualifier. We talked about it in the previous match. Maybe you missed it. Droyas, the previous winner of Salt Mine, Salt Mine 2, unable to play in the first stage, has to work through the qualifier if he wants to make his way into the event. And he's did so swimmingly in the first round. Now he has Kiernan in the second round. Somebody that he has maybe played before. Kiernan has played on the stream many times. Not sure if Darku has played in a show match outside of a qualifier, but Kiernan has. Kiernan has played probably in five some odd matches, but it was a while ago. He's still been a talented ones player all that time. An Irish ones player. We'll see how he fares against a salt mine champ. A guy who maybe gets a nice buff when he is playing in the salt mine. And he's off to a hot start. Just 33 seconds in. The title does say Joyas versus Kiernan, so you might need to refresh. Saw someone said to update the title. The way the qualifier works, we'll maybe mention this at the start of every round just in case people are hopping in for the first time, or maybe watching the videos for the first time, is right now everybody is fighting through a double elimination bracket to, I think, qualify for the four spots? Now I need to double check. I think it's four spots, maybe two, but I think you, there's two upper bracket spots and two lower bracket spots to qualify for in the promotion relegation. And the promotion relegation has two players who made the main event last time also there trying to fight their way back. So you really want to qualify through the upper bracket. I think that gives you a much better start to the event. But I am going to go double check that. It might just be two. And I might just be crazy talking right now. As Joria is up 3-0, gets this shot saved. But nice recovery dash in order to not be in too much trouble. All right, I'm looking at the promotion playoffs. Yes, four players qualify. You want to qualify through the upper bracket to have an additional life. And then of the six players that will play in that promotion relegation, only two will join the main events. Joria is multiple resets. Kiernan's going to go flying by. So it is still a perfect scorecard for Joria's up 4-0. Just about two minutes in. Yeah, he used to be called Rob. That's right, he was Rob Kiernan. He's been around the one scene for a long time. I'm trying to remember, did he replay just as the name Rob? Or was it Rob Kiernan? Or was it always Kiernan? I, honestly, I can't remember. To me, they've all melded as the same person. He is going to get on the board now. As Jory is not able to clear it out. Rob mostly. Got it. Okay. Rob, then Rob Kiernan, then Kiernan. Got it. That has been the long adventure of Kiernan. Kiernan. Reset off the ceiling. Never really had an angle to shoot. But was smart enough to recognize that he didn't. So didn't take the shot and instead maintained his possession. Joyous has no interest in letting him keep it, though. As he stays glued to him in the blue half. Kiernan's got enough to work with. On this dribble, but another dribble that is not headed in. Joriaz couldn't get the double. Tried to switch to his perspective there. See if he could get the juicy defensive play into the redirect. Instead, he's going to be bouncing it off the back wall and side wall as he works to try and power through, but Kieran escapes. Nice fake to get full control of the ball. Now into an air dribble. Seems like, oh my goodness, seems like it's going to be a reset. Launched behind Joria's. Tons of movement on this one. We won't watch too many replays, but this one felt worthy. Yo, lights. Light seven. Thank you for the prime. Joria's gonna slot in another kickoff goal. 5-2. Joria's full control off the kickoff. And Kiernan actually double jumps to get the save. Joria's knew he didn't have a ton of boost, so decided to go high with it. And hey, for good reason. Use any bit of boost he might have been able to pick up. Force him in the air, and then nice recovery and conversion from Joria's. He's got himself a bit of a cushion. 
with a minute 40 left to go. Joria's gonna make it 7 2. Kiernan not able to control on kickoff, and he is being very aggressive, chasing Joria's down in the midfield. We will pre jump Joria's dribble. Joria is able to get a great 50 reset. And it'll be an easy follow-up. He pulled Kiernan extra high and then got out above the ball and prepared for the 50. Just expert play from Joria's, who seems to be in the zone. I'm sure if you asked him, wants to walk his way into the promo relegation. He's doing well here in game one of a best of three against Kiernan. Kiernan. Oh my goodness, what placement! Wow! Perfect crossbar down. Joria has ignored the kickoff, uh, making him watch it again. But I guess he just decided that that must not have been in, or I don't know. He got there a bit too early and there was no adjustment to be made. A jump would have just pushed him even farther down. Kiernan to the ceiling. Joria decides to just let the ball roll in, basically, but he actually did not Backflip correctly, it's not gonna matter. He got in the way of Kiernan's recovery. And that would be enough. 10-3. Joria is looking good. Wave dash kick out for Kiernan. It's gonna lead to a possession. He couldn't control it because he got knocked up so high. And Joria is able to stay on ball. He is gonna leave now. Kiernan, a dribble off the side wall. Good corrective touch to get this dribble on target, but Jorias eats it up on defense with ease. Jorias reset, popping the ball. 30 seconds left to go. I don't think we're going to see seven goals. So there's a Jorias game one win. And Kiernan has a lot to try and figure out if he wants to bring back the best of three. He had to run himself into the toughest competition potentially in this qualifier, you know, there's a lot of good players like I was talking about before. You say 5'11 versus 6 foot? <laughs> Is that how you're describing this, this gameplay? <laughs> That'll hit the ground. Game one in favor of Joria's. <laughs> Game two. Game two, and as chat points out, it's crazy the levels of this game. Kiernan would wax 99% of players and just got bullied. Yeah, more than 99, uh, more than 99%. I think the top 1% is around Grand Champ or so. Um, and he would certainly demolish Grand Champs. So it's probably more like 99.9. .9. If not even a couple more nines after that, since Kiernan He's often a top 100 ones player. I don't know if he is right now. Troyes set himself up to be able to hook shot this in and tie the game. Who else will play today? There's a ton of games going on. You can take exclamation point bracket to see how they're going. Kiernan dove too far in. Wanted to force Joria's into a panic play. Joria's did not. And then recognized he had an opportunity for a power shot. And Kiernan was in far too deep. Joria's. High pop, wants to get over the top of the pre-jump, but didn't work out. Kiernan is able to collect it at ceiling height. Joria's will win this 50. Not the best of touches in the world, but it's not gonna matter. After getting the ball past Kiernan, it's gonna be an easy tap in. Joria's wants to watch it again for some reason, I don't know. Maybe he's drinking some water.
Tiernan, direct kickoff goal. Certainly wouldn't hurt to have a ton of those today if he wants to stay relevant. Joyce is going to dive into this corner. Tiernan, will he score? He will. And you know what's funny is Joyce, is, you can see him deciding. If he had committed immediately, maybe it would have worked out. But he's like, do I have time? Yes, I do. Yes, I do have time. But he was wrong. Delay kickoff for Kiernan. And a 4-3 lead. I mean, Kiernan is up 4-3 now. You say, you give me some crap for saying to stay relevant, but he is very relevant in this game. Off of the back of either two or three kickoff goals. So certainly the kickoff can be very beneficial. Joria is trying to go for a ground double. Not going to be able to get the back corner boost and actually doesn't feel like he has time to even pick up the midfield, which he seems to be correct about. Let's get his own back corner though. Kiernan likely to back off. As the midfield hunter, Joria has lost that dribble. He wanted to get more underneath it. As soon as he was falling off the top of his car, not much he could do with it. Kiernan gets a fairly easy defensive play to stop him. Nice pin here from Kiernan. If he had more boost to work with, maybe he's able to make some magic happen out of the air. Joria has just attacked ball directly. And did not take an angle. Trying to cover the net. So now he finds himself down two. Finds himself down three. <laughs> I think there's been about three kickoff goals in favor of Kiernan. Joria is maybe getting a bit too comfortable after a dominating game one. Does, for a moment, show that he's going to go back to his corner before taking the midfield. That is to get Kiernan to stick around and lose out on boost. He doesn't want Kiernan to go back and recognize the play quickly, but it's not going to matter, man. Kiernan is back in this game. Make it 7-3. He's doing more than just the kickoffs now as he extends this lead. To a place where it's starting to become relevant with the amount of time left. Joria is, is going to be almost forced to own goal. Cannot flip into his corner boost. No camera check, but knows Kiernan will not be trying to take that ball. So Joria is to the ceiling. Plays it past Kiernan. And it's a fourth goal. Nice read on the play from Kiernan. Joria is... Wins this into the blue half. Not going to be able to score with it, but actually decides not even to touch the ball. Kiernan recognizes that Joria's probably won't full commit and try to get a counterattack, but it's not going to work. You know whose counterattack is going to work? Joria's as Kiernan drops the oops. Diving too deep. Getting himself outplayed out of the corner. Kiernan... Resets. Got the ball past Joyas. Could not steal the boost. Could not get the goal. Joyas does enough. And he's going to launch another long shot. He's back within one. Never count the Salt Mine champ out. And he has worked to have a ton of time now to make up this final goal. Backing off, Kiernan without much boost, Jorias knows it. Jorias trying for a demo, doesn't get it, but he does get Kiernan to jump. And now he's having to dodge the physicality from the Irishman. Kiernan's aerials haven't been where they probably need to be if he wants to take Jorias down and never really gets an opportunity out of this one. Jorias just hands the ball over, that's not something that often results in winning opportunities. Troy has missed touch. Can he get back to stop this goal? He can. Wow, impressive recovery. But really, what he probably needs to be more worried about is a couple of missed first touches. He's got Kiernan diving in way too deep again, and he will be able to score on it. Kiernan, even with a lead, is trying to make sure to not give Joria space. Obviously afraid of what he can do when he's allowed to get a dribble uncontested. Kiernan has been trying to contest, but hasn't necessarily been working out. He still has a tie game. 
And with this hook shot, could take the lead. Joria's great save to start off this possession. On the inside of his wall, Kiernan refuses to bring him the ball early and does well to flick over the top. 36 seconds. Joria has clawed his way all the way back, but it's not going to matter if he can't get one more in these final moments. Joria's going to let this ball bounce off the back wall. Game of chicken between him and Kiernan on who makes a move on the ball first. Joria has a great opportunity now as Kiernan swings into net. He's going to go air dribble bump. He's going to go air dribble to the back wall. He needs a double. Joria has it near the net, and he'll get it off the back wall. Nice play from Joria. A bit of keep away as he does not allow Kiernan to make a play on the ball. And a really wise touch, too. I think Joria has realized he could miss wide and still follow it back up. Whereas if he tried to score too tight, then he wouldn't have had that second opportunity. Might have led to a game loss. Joria is going to be wall dashing to catch up to this one. Pass to himself. Kiernan is going to allow Joria to try and dunk it. Bit of a risky position because if Joria does not make contact with the ball, Kiernan will have possession with Joria's on the wrong side of it. That is going to hit the ground. Though that might have been a goal in a different context. Joria is playing the time. Now, can get a nice sweep in the best of three. If he can score the next goal, he's going to bump Kieran off the ball. Does he have the long shot? That does not have the power, I don't think. Yeah, it's also slightly wide. Kiernan dunked. Joria's gets sent far away from the play. So, wall to air dribble for Kiernan. If there was ever time to clutch up in the air, it would be right now. And actually, Joria's does the opposite. He pre-jumps it. And Kiernan, maybe intentionally, does not bring this ball to him. Really soft first touch. Let's Joria's... Just fly past the play. And we are headed to game three. I think Joy has said he will be RB. Game number three. The series decider. I'm pretty sure we're still in best of three. I can go double check to be a million percent sure. But it comes down to this. Kiernan. And Joria's. Will the salt mine run for Joria's? It's not necessarily going to end, just to be clear. If he were to lose, he still has a second chance. Either one of these two. This is just upper bracket. Although you really do want to make it into the qualifier in the upper bracket. Even if you don't, you're still alive. Kiernan. His possession dunked. Troyes will be first this back corner boost, but Kiernan has a bit to work with. Troyes to the ceiling. Can he get back to this to force it in? No, Kiernan has the save. Troyes is actually just going to take the ball directly at the net. It almost worked out. I think Kiernan was expecting the backflip and the control of possession, which was a very natural play from Troyes on the reverse, but he actually decides to go underneath it and take a cheeky shot. Almost scored with it. Might have been able to score with that one that he could have kept it in the net. Troyes now has to panic back to this ball. Awesome, a good amount of boost, but does manage to play continued keep away from Kiernan. Now he's demoed. And Kiernan finally has a bit of space in a game without a goal past the first minute. Kiernan resets. Troyes has the first save, but not the next. And Kiernan has recognized that he does not need to make anything happen in the air. Troyes has been pre jumping him. So he's played the fake or the low shots the past couple times. He's been able to score with it. Joria is not able to survive as he pops the ball away. Kiernan will get a second goal. Trying to pre-flip into the corner boost. Kiernan able to snipe him. Joria is... Ball to air dribble. Sends it directly into Kiernan, who has done well to stop those shots. Troyes should not make it back to this one. I was going to say should make it back, but he doesn't quite make it. Now he binds himself down three after the first couple minutes. Kiernan to the ceiling. Not get back to the ball though. We watched that from Joria's perspective. He was never really scared. Did he bump Joria's enough to prevent this goal? He did not. That was close though. Kiernan makes the save.
Wave dash kickoff for Jorius. Only just bumps Kiernan into the boost quicker. Jorius looks to stay on the ball. At least force Kiernan all the way back. Now he's going to head to his back corner. Kiernan has been making delayed plays and does better to wait to make sure he does not give Jorius an easy save. This time he flicks it just a bit wide though. Right idea behind that play. Kiernan pre-jump. Second pre-jump is going to work out. Jorius brings it right into the back of his car. Able to grab the midfield. Kiernan will back off. What will Jorius do when he has a bit of time? Play another ground play. Flick from distance. Allows Kiernan to save. Wants to bump Kiernan. Nice jump by Kiernan to avoid it. Will get around this, but is forced into net. Not a great position. He will creep out, picking up pads. Jorius sends it high. Kiernan can't get there, and Jorius actually just drops the ball off to him. He's done a great job, though, of pinning Kiernan back. As tough as it may be, he seems to be making his job a bit tough at times. Can he score this one off the ceiling? Kiernan wants to come out and meet him. He pinches this away. Still playing the keep away. Hasn't been able to get the shot. Oh my goodness, Jorius. What an expert bit of control. It took him such a long time, but he does eventually get the goal. And it's a nice pre-flip underneath it to flick it in. My goodness, that was a nice shot. Still down one though as the previous salt mine champ looks to try and stay in this upper bracket. Kiernan, soft flick. Jorius should be able to handle that. Try to get a double to clear it out. Couldn't do so. Looking to undercut Kiernan. We'll just take his boost. See him backing off the play. Kiernan will get a clean dribble now. Running low on boost, decides to just launch a flick. See if he can get an extended possession. Jorius ends that possession quickly. And is taking the back corner. Kiernan has a bit to work with though. Jorius has looked pretty good though in these situations. Where he tries to keep Kiernan on the back foot. Oh, Kiernan, the almost own goal. Jorius not going to be able to get the demo. Kiernan's going to rush back to the ball. Jorius, 50 this to the side wall. Allows Kiernan to rush. Jorius stays grounded, does not get beat. With patience on his back line. That was a bit of a tap away though, as he was worried with Kiernan around the ball. Now with 30 seconds, Kiernan to the side wall. Not allowed to start a dribble. Jorius wants to pin him back. This is in. Tie game with the 50. Kiernan lost control there a little bit. Jorius not backing down. Knows he has no choice but to try and force it. And he does squeeze that in. So 3-3 with 28 seconds. Kiernan not going to be first to boost. He will back off. Jorius, I bet, plays this dribble a little bit slow because he wants time to waste off the clock. Now that he has the advantage, he's not trying to score necessarily very quickly. He does score quite quickly, though, even with a, just a double jump pop. Kiernan going to delay the kickoff. He does force it into the orange half, but has no boost to work with. Jorius is up to the ball because he just wants to play keep away and apparently believes in himself. To just stay on ball and never let Kiernan back. Long shot. Kiernan so close to taking down the Salt Mine champ in the upper bracket. But it's looking like with four seconds left that Jorius has done it. Worked it back. Oh, no. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait just a second. We said it a bit early. Jorius is going to delay the kickoff in an attempt to end the game. And actually allows Kiernan to chip one directly on target. Kiernan keeps this in the air. Not a ton of boost to work with. Jorias will slam it down. But there was a chance. The GG's as Jorias moves on in the upper bracket in game three.